right. It looks like I am live. For anybody that doesn't know, my name is Amanda. I am an independent Cincy consultant and I am like terrified of doing lives. I don't know why it makes me so anxious, but I thought I would take time out of doing my homework to open up the packages that just came in. Um, I got some fall scents, a couple buddy clips. I'd never had one before. And then my August whiff box, which a lot of people have seen, but I hadn't. I, I mean, I've seen other people's videos, but each box is slightly different, I think, depending on maybe your region. I'm going to start out with my fall scents that I just got in. I'm going to try to make less noise, maybe, but it's, I should open it first. I'm going to try to make some samples out of a few of these. So if you have yet to get a sample package from me and, and you're due one, then you'll be getting some of the new fall winter scents in your samples. Let's see. They always come in these little insulated bags with a freezer bag to help keep them from melting in the heat. All right. I can't tell if anybody's watching. I'm still not used to this setup. Okay, the first one I got was the Dancing Sugar Plums. Oh, I look a mess, I'm sorry. Which I really like. I have both the stickers for these, plus now I have the wax, so I'll be making a few of the felt samples to send out. And the people that don't get the felt samples, I'll be sending the stickers to. Because I'm going to save some of it to warm here at the house because it smells really good. Next one I got is my absolute favorite is the Cozy Cardigan. I think it might be my favorite scent of all of the scents available. It just smells so good. It's kind of like a cologne smell, but not not overpoweringly so. I haven't warmed it yet, so I don't know what it's going to smell like on the warmer. But Cozy Cardigan, it really makes me think of just like just snuggling up in your favorite like cardigan or sweater and you can kind of smell like the remnants of some perfume or cologne on it it's just a very like for me a very comforting scent just a very relaxing happy scent the next one i got was the cloudberry dreams which i know serendi liked this one i wish she was down here but she's still doing her homework um it, it's like a real sweet fruity scent for me it's almost like a candy or a cotton candy or something. Something like a preteen girl would maybe wear as her perfume because Serena used to have something similar. But it smells really good. I'm going to make some samples of some of this and save the rest to warm for myself because I think it will be just, I don't know, like a real cheery scent to have in the house. Okay, then another one I got was Vanilla Mint. I really like this, but it kind of, it makes me think of the little mints, the after dinner mints. And it also almost makes me think of like a toothpaste, but not in an unpleasant way. I'm not sure about that. I might make samples or I might save that and put it in my stock for now. Let's see. Autumn Road Trip. Which to me kind of smells exactly like the name. It's like if you're out driving and you're going past some like... I don't know. It's just like autumn trees and pumpkins and it just smells like autumn to me. Excuse me, my nose itches. And then the last one I got in this order was Snow Kissed Cranberry. Which just kind of smells like cranberries to me, but like a sweet berry smell that I think will work really well around the holidays. Especially Christmas for me. It smells like a Christmassy scent. And I did get some stickers to send out because I'm going to be sending out for the people I don't send actual samples to. I'm going to be sending out these little postcards. It's going to have three different scratch and stiff snickers, stickers, sorry, on them. And I got the Stroop, Stroop Waffle, Stroop Waffle Delight today. And I have a couple, I got the Sugar Plum ones and I think the Autumn Road Trip also that I'm going to be sending out on the postcards. Two other things I got today, which I mentioned was buddy clips. I got Twiggy the turtle, which is the sun-kissed citrus scent. And then I got the cow, but uh, Clover the cloud, which is the black raspberry vanilla. And these are adorable. 
if I actually attended school, not online school, I would have one of these on my bag, definitely. This is the turtle. Can you see him good? Look how cute he is. He is so well made. And he's just adorable. And he is in the Sunkiss Citrus, which is another one of my absolute favorite scents. I use it for my cleaner, cleaner concentrate, counter cleaner. Um, I'll be sending samples out of Sunkiss Citrus counter cleaner and or um, the concentrate, depending on if you've already received samples from me or not. Here is Clover the cow. Look at her. <laughs> if you love cows, you're going to absolutely love this. Look how cute. Hanging off a bag, hanging off a backpack. Just hang it in your car. It smells so good. She was the black raspberry vanilla, which is another scent I like quite a bit. All right. Now, I've been waiting for the whiff box this month. Um, usually I get it a little bit sooner in the month, which I haven't gotten a lot because I'm still new to Scentsy. But I think they tend to send them out sooner to the customers than they do the consultants. And this is what you get in a whiff box. The whiff box, you actually get a, a higher value of product than what you spend on it. Usually about 6 to $10 more, I think. It usually comes with a little paper. This one is what's on your list. And you can list all the things you want or love. The scents and the products. And keep on hand. Another bag. So this will be some more wax. Like I said, I don't know what's in this. It, it differs. It's a surprise every month on what you're going to get. You just know that you're going to get more than what you're paying for. Another freezer bag. I saved these and reused them. And then I have whoops, four bars of wax. Ollie is coming up to help me, apparently. Say hi, Ollie. He seems to enjoy smelling the scentsy stuff too. Can I smell this one? Okay, this one was this month's scent of the month, aloe vera and ivy, which I like. To me, I think, and to my daughter, it kind of smells manly. <laughs> it smells kind of like cologne. It's supposed to have like melons, but to me, I'm not sure. It just smells kind of cologne. -y. And every time I, I warm it in the living room, she's like, the house smells like man. Okay. This one is one of the new fall scents. I don't know if they're all new or just come back for the season, but this is fall winter scent called Almond Croissant. And I think it's it's a it's a bakery scent. It smells almondy and it has that kind of buttery croissant undertone to me. I haven't warmed them, so I don't know what they're going to smell like warm, but I do like that one. Apples and oats, another fall scent. And this one, uh, I think you would warm this one in your kitchen because it would make you want to eat oatmeal. Because it smells like oatmeal with like, like an apple cinnamon oatmeal. I don't know if it has cinnamon in it as an undertone, but it definitely smells like, like an apple -y. Do I have another one? Sorry, I got lost my train of thought. I got another autumn road trip. And like I said, it smells exactly like what it's called. It's just a very pleasant out on the road scent, fall scent. See, in my box I got a couple samples of dish soap, the lemon verbena, verbena, I'm not sure how you say it, which is one of my favorite scents also. I'm very excited about this, the bag of Scentsy Soap. I don't think you can see anything because of my lighting. There we go. This is the Cozy Cardigan Scentsy Soap. I'll probably make some samples of this to send out. I've been sending out another scent for the Scentsy Soap. I might send some of these out and I'm going to save some for myself because this is, like I said, I think my ultimate favorite scent right now. 
for Cincy. It's just, I can imagine just soaking in a hot tub full of this, reading a book, sipping on a drink. Just really enjoying it, relaxing. Probably a great way to distress, especially after all this homework I've been doing. Got another catalog for the fall winter. And then I received Around the Campfire Scent Circle. Around the Campfire smells exactly like what it, it's called. It just it smells like you're sitting around a campfire. I'm not sure if I would like my whole house to smell like that or not for the waxes, but I think it would be an interesting scent to have in your car. Maybe in your closet if you like your clothes to get that kind of a, a smoky smell like you've been at around a wood fire. It really makes me miss my wood burning stove because I used to love sitting in front of the wood burner. Anyway, that is it for the whiff box and what I got today. It's like I said, it's well worth the money. You get more in product than what you're spending for. You can set it up in your Scentsy Club and get it every single month. And it's a surprise every month on what you're going to get. Or you can just purchase it in the, you know, singly every month if you want. I have mine set up through my Scentsy Club, so I get it every month, and I get excited every time I see it arrive. Um, like I said, the the items you get in it, it they differ depending, you know, from month to month. The scents are going to be different. Um, I think I got like um, some counter clean in one month. Got the, you know, and some Scentsy soap. This time I got the wax bars, but it's definitely worth the money, especially if you like surprises. All right, I think, oh, I didn't even realize I had a comment. Um, I think that's it for today. Um, I have been wondering about maybe doing some theme boxes of my own. Um, most of you who know me know that I like to craft. Um, I do diamond painting, cross stitching. I do some bead work like keychains and stitch markers. I knit, I, crochet, I don't crochet, but I'm trying to learn to crochet. A little bit of sewing um so i thought maybe i could do hi martha like a, a craft theme box every month or every couple months it i figured i could put like an essential oil or a fragrance flower or um just some kind of wax depending on the theme i'm doing that month and then a small craft like a diamond painting or a little cross stitch kit See, what's diamond painting? Diamond painting is it's it's almost like cross stitch. It's for cross stitchers that don't want to cross stitch. I, I swear that's what it is. But um, you got a little picture and then it's sticky and it comes with like a little film over it. You pull the film back and you have these little resin, not beads exactly, but pieces. And you use, I wonder if I have anything close at hand. I do, but I'd have to get up and move stuff. But you, you use this little tool to pick them up and you stick them to corresponding squares on the picture. And when you're done, you have this pretty little sparkly picture. Um, I could probably post some, some pictures of some I, I've completed. But I have some small kits. I thought, you know, maybe I could send them out in a theme box and then do a live and we could do them together in a live. Or I could do, if someone orders some fragrance flowers. Maybe I could do a color your fragrance flower night where we go live and we color them together and I could like maybe send some theme stickers and some markers with the fragrance flower and we could do it one of two ways. Everything could be a surprise for me or you could order like essential oil, fragrance flower, whatever and then I just send the little kits or the markers and stickers and stuff out to the person and then we'll set up a specific time to do the lives. Is that something you'd be interested in? We could maybe even do like a, a knit a scarf kind of theme one month around like you have one in time for Christmas or a hat if you're up for knitting a hat or for you that, you know, crochet, I could, you know, maybe find a, a free pattern to print out and uh, maybe some like little plastic since I can't afford, you know, a lot right yet, plastic crochet hooks and send those out with the pattern and a little bit of yarn to make like a little hat or like maybe a little wreath for Christmas. Sounds fun. 
I also was thinking maybe a bead kit. I had some bead kits for making little wreaths that you hang on Christmas tree. We could do that around Christmas time and maybe do like um, one of the more woodsy scents for wax or essential oil for people who don't have the warmer and would rather do the essential oils. I know you won't do scents inside because of the cat, but maybe, I don't know, maybe a car bar or something and then one of the kits to go along with the car bar, car bar or car bar clip or since the circle. Um, oh, travel tins, Martha. Have you seen the travel tins? I got one in yesterday that is the weathered leather and those would work good in a car also. You can open it up as little or as much as you want to have the, you know, the scent escape and use it like under the seat car seat instead of having anything hanging or on your bents. Um, I think that's it. Everything I was going to go over. Um, you know, if you didn't get to see this live, you can replay. If you do watch the replay, then try to hashtag replay for me so I know what time everybody watched and who all watched. And I think I'm going to jump off here and get back to my school work. But thank you. I know I wouldn't look into the camera most of the time. Um, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about any of the items I showed you or about um, Scentsy Club or Whiff Boxes, or anything really, ball scents, sample pack packets, I can't talk today, anything like that, just, you know, you can message me or comment on the video, or if you have my number, text me, however you want to get hold of me, and, and I'll try to answer your question as soon as I can. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to jump off here. Have a beautiful day, afternoon. Ours is kind of overcast, it looks like, so I'm hoping it's not going to rain too much because I have to leave later. Yay. Um, so, but thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.